From the TV6 studio, this is Quad Cities Live. Today on Quad Cities Live, we're giving you a sneak peek at a new film about inclusion and understanding. Details on I Am Able, produced by Fresh Films. And a high-powered, choreographed 12-piece show band covering Motown, R&B, and Soul. How to get your tickets to the, the Blues Brothers performing this weekend at Timberlake Playhouse. Tough to say. Yeah. And an opportunity to be part of a beer tapping at Blue Cat Brewing Company for a great cause. We'll talk about the new cherry blonde ale called Chupa and meet the pup behind the name. You are watching Quad Cities Live on this Friday, November 4th. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Morgan Otier alongside Kyle Keel. Yes, I'm here filling in for Jake this week, and it's the first week of November, and we've been enjoying the warm and sunny days up mm -hmm. until today. Got some clouds, rain, and wind, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be gearing up for the holidays. Yeah, the Moline Center holiday hop is exactly one week away. Joining us now, Laura Adams with Black Box Theater and downtown Moline business owner Christiana Headley. Uh, thank you so much for being here, ladies. Well, thank you for having us. This is uh, one of the most fun things that Moline does. Yeah. yeah, we were just talking about it. It is just such a fun event year after year. You guys, I believe, are in your fifth year now. Yeah. So uh, lots to do. Uh, what can visitors uh, expect to see? It's a two-day event, correct? Well, it's two days. It depends on the store, actually. Okay. But um, we, we have everything from ice sculptures for or uh, crafts for people to do down at um, Mercado. Uh, and then if you like hot chocolate, there are so many places for you to get free hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, Grinch will be at Lago. Oh, yes, nice. yes the Grinch will be there. Different we will have kids. Santa at the um, at the Black Box, and also at the Black Box, we um, WQPT provides us with gift bags for the kids, and they get to pick an age-appropriate <coughs> book. Oh, so nice. that's really nice um, for us. And I will tell you, last year we gave out 300 books, so oh, wow. a lot of kids and their families come down, and it's a whole lot of fun. So we're just one of the stops on so many of the stops that are down there. Yes, that is Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> um, and uh, and what's really nice. Uh, you can walk it if you want, but we also have two trolleys and uh, a Metrolink that will take folks who have um, uh, different abilities. Yeah. Um, so there are seven stops in our area, and you can just pick and choose where you want to go and what you want to do. All right, so Morgan mentioned that this is the fifth year for the event. So yes. what do you think uh, keeps it growing each and every year? I think people have discovered it, and yeah. uh, you know, it's just a great... Uh, basically free event for families to enjoy together and it really gets people sort of kicking off the holiday yeah. spirit so it's a little early for me to put a Christmas tree up but I do <laughs> right. and um, and everybody decorates for that the analog is totally <laughs> tricked out with things yes. it's hysterical down there I and um, and then there it's a great way to start doing your early uh, shopping for the holidays absolutely, absolutely. yeah I was gonna be our next question Christiana sounds mm -hmm. like there's uh, a lot of different local business owners and merchants involved uh, so talk about what makes this such a great place to find maybe that more unique item for, for your friends and family. Absolutely. The whole event, it, it really is come and spend the whole evening. You can come out and have dinner, do a little shopping, do some activities. Um, and we have so many small businesses in downtown Moline that offer unique um, handcrafted items or we've had a couple of new businesses open up just in the last <coughs> couple months and so there are lots of opportunities to get things that you won't find elsewhere. And hey, Christiana, tell us a little bit more about your business splash. Sure, yeah, Splash is a bath boutique. Okay. So we have handcrafted bath products um, that you may not find other places, and I make all of the products myself. Wow, so this, is, this looks pretty <laughs> impressive. So yeah. we offer a variety of unique soaps and shower bombs, bath bombs, sugar scrubs, and all kinds of unique products. You got a little coffee shaped reindeer coffee yeah, cup here. That one I actually didn't make. That is <laughs> okay. from my sister in Texas, but it has a shower bomb in it. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. And so it comes like this as a gift set, and it makes just a great little gift if you yeah. need something for a teacher or neighbor or I something. Love this. Um, Thank unique. you for saying that. Yeah. yeah. Gift for a teacher, because I always wait yeah. too long, and you want to have like the most unique, special thing for your child's teacher, and then it's always like Amazon gift card right. or something. Let's exactly. not let's not make that yeah. happen this year. No. Exactly. Yeah, we want to talk a little bit more about what you have in here uh, for your business. Here's some of the soaps or bath bomb. That's a yeah. bath bomb. Very cool. And uh, I think this is going to be a big seller this year. I do picture soaps. I love that. <laughs> That's just a Christmas story, yes. right? A Christmas story. <laughs> um, I also have lump of coal soap, which is new this year for anybody that is on the naughty list. Very, very and nice. You can't be homemade and local. That's no, for sure. Absolutely. So what made you want to get Splash involved in the Holiday Hop this year? Um, well, this will be our fourth year oh, awesome. in downtown Moline yeah. with the Holiday Hop. And so it is one of our biggest events of the 
the year and one of our biggest sales. So it really helps us kick off the holiday season and it's just so much fun. Um, we are looking at having some Christmas carolers and we will have treats and snacks and Christmas music. Wow. And so it's really a good way just to kick things off. Yeah. And right across the street um, in the uh, old J.C. Penney mm -hmm. building, which oh, now yes. Renew Moline has, there will be a lot of small businesses in there. So um, for a lot of folks who don't have a storefront, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for mm -hmm. them to be down oh, there great. and letting people see what it is that they're creating. So wow. hopefully this will be a kickoff. Yeah, that, that is, is new. absolutely oh, cool. new this year. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't remember if you talked about it or not. You mentioned the trolleys, but these yeah. are going to be a great way for people to get around and also the bus. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they, like I said, there are seven, uh, there are seven stops where people can get on and okay. get off it's not like it's you get on and you're just mm -hmm. and you're that's done. it um, <laughs> so now. yes you can do that and these will be all over downtown Moline so if you okay. people see this they can sort of plot out where all they perfect. want to go and uh, so that's one of the things and then just down the street from us is a new bakery that's called sugar dollar mode and they mm -hmm. will be having treats um, for people to, to try mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> um, so there's just so many unique things that are that are down there and yeah. and, it, it, and as as she was saying we we have a new a lot of new businesses and this is a great way for people to to discover them and you know find, find something out. yeah new find something unique. new mm -hmm. absolutely awesome. okay well the fifth annual moline center holiday hop it is next friday and saturday in downtown moline a couple dozen merchants offering in-store specials music refreshments you heard it all here for more information though you can always head to the moline center facebook page uh, laura and christiana thank you so much for being here today thank you so thank much you. we're in the christmas spirit yes. now we'll yes. see you at the holiday hop <laughs> yes. absolutely nice to Still to come on Quad Cities Live, the Putnam Museum held a film premiere this week, putting the spotlight on Quad Cityans with special needs. We'll talk more about the film titled I Am Able. And in your community calendar, it's Halloween season, and you can take a tour with the Iowa City Ghost Hunters. Tomorrow night from 4 until midnight, the Skyline Center in Clinton is hosting a paranormal investigation fundraiser for the Skyline Foundation. It's a $25 donation for admission. Tours are 30 minutes long.